Good morning, Hellions. <laughs> All the leaves are gone. They're out of here. They're like, you know something? We're gonna make like a tree and leaf. Or, or get out of here. Back home, back home. A little bit of relaxing, a little bit of uh, solitude to try and catch up on the events of the day. Um, still looking at this cat, and this cat right here is the one that I was talking about, about corpsing. And I really want to take the wire and extend it, because you, you guys know that these things work on um, sounds also, which in a haunt, anything that is sound activated is horrible. It's setting itself off. Okay. Okay, maybe it wasn't. That was really extended. But anyway, sound activated things in a haunt suck. You can't do it. You just can't because every little noise will turn it on. And so that I don't annoy you guys, I will turn this off. Um, so what I want to do is, this is the little tester switch they have for use in the store that you're supposed to pull out of there. Um, but it's a switch. You turn it on, you turn it off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. It's kind of like a rat kitty. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm a kitty. Or a stuck kitty. It's a stuck kitty. Anyway, <laughs> this whole point has been just to talk to you about the stupid switch. I want to take the switch off and extend the wires on it. And that way an actor can actually make this prop happen. Um, and then also if I corpse it and I encase the whole body, I need to also remote mount the batteries. Those are two things that need to happen with this thing before I can actually start corpsing it. And uh, this will be one of the few things that I'm able to do right now at this time. So I figure, you know, why not? I still have the bathroom. I still gotta get the bathroom done. The bathroom, sorry. The bathroom is kind of uh, imperative that it gets done. Be very quiet. It's sound activated. Come on. What is that? <laughs> what? It's not a real cat. It doesn't have any butt sense. You're trying to sniff the butt. What is it? What is it? What is it? Get it. Get the kitty. Get the kitty. Get it. Come on. Get the kitty. Why are you going behind me? You think I'm going to protect you? Words. Speak. <laughs> Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Woo! You did it! <laughs> what is it? What is it? Get the kitty! Get the kitty! Well, this is awkward. She was actually spying on me before she laid down. She was looking through the crack and watching me pee. I know. Talk about stage fright. When I was a kid, um, I used to think that... Uh, my dog was like a small human in just like a costume so that my parents could keep an eye on me. <laughs> That's when I was way littler. Anyway, um, yeah, so, hi. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? So, I guess I do have something on my nose. It's a zit. It's another zit because I've shaved and now I'm like 13 again. Well, 16 maybe. <laughs> and so, so I've got my acne back. But I've been taking a photo every night for the past two nights um, in the same area, the same spot, so hopefully at the end of this whole No Shave November and I let my beard grow, um, I want to do a compilation of all these photos just for something fun because it's actually kind of, it's kind of cool. And it's time to take the Halloween tree down. I want to slowly start taking it down because it's really depressing me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm going to keep the village up. The village is going to stay up because it's too much work to take it down and it's really awesome. Importance, not in that order. And, uh, but I'm going to take the tree down and we're going to store the tree for just a little while. That way I'll be able to see on my front window and we'll start dealing with the decorations out there first or not first, but we'll start dealing with the decorations and taking that stuff down too. And, and I'm thinking that I might have to move everything from storage back to the house. Yeah. What are you doing? You want to eat a pumpkin? You want to eat a pumpkin? Are you going to eat a pumpkin? Intermittent problems are the hardest ones to find in vehicles. So you got to drive the car. You have to redo, you have to dupli reduplicate. Well, I'm sure if, it, the, if the problem is duplicated, then doing it again would be a reduplication, right? <sighs> That's a weird word. Duplicate. 
duplicate, du 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 dupli duplicate. That's just a weird word. Oh, look at that. Love that fence right there. Anyway, I'm on a test drive and we're gonna go to Spirit and see if they're open. Just to look around. Oh, this isn't looking good. This does not look good. I don't know, does it? Does it look good? Are we open? Are we open? Thank you for shopping. We're closed for the season. Sad panda. So the problem this car is having is this having, after you drive it a while, it's uh, apparently having like a hard restart problem. So best scenario, get as far away from the house as possible, shut the car off and hope it starts back up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, so little known story. This is the second time. I try not to say that too much. Little known fact, little known story. I've never said little known story before, so I guess I'm okay. Anyway, I've got this screensaver on it, and it's so funny because every once in a while, my phone will make a weird noise when I'm using it. I'm like, that's a different ringtone like this. Right? And it kind of freaks me out because it's like, what is that? How does that happen? I don't understand. I figured it out today. Yeah, that's that's the brain waves going. Look at this. This is cool. So if I take and I just tap like not on an icon, but I tap on the screen twice. <laughs> and I guess they're random. That's just so funny. Now that I know, I will never use it again because it's like, oh cool, that's neat. Next. <laughs> Maybe I will do it every once in a while. That was a new sound. I've never heard that one before. Can you imagine like being in line in the supermarket and just be like and just start looking around it's like, was that you? <laughs> oh, the simple things that make me laugh. Somebody took apart their car and they're they're kind of like rebuilding it and uh they 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 say that they're in over their heads. So they <laughs> they're calling in the professionals. So I'm gonna go and see eh, what I can do. Maybe I can do something. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Buffy's coming with me on this appointment. It's a ways away. So I want to see what the GoPro is gonna do at night. So <laughs> stick with me. Indulge me just a second to see what kind of nighttime footage we can get as we're going down the road. I think I'll set it at probably I don't know probably two seconds that way, and, and I'll just give a short little clip of it. Yeah? You want a short little clip of it? You want a short little clip of it? A short little clip? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Clips! 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 Here's something funny. She's got a blanket on top of all the other blankets. That's what she sleeps on next to me. I took my hand underneath all the blankets and I slowly slid it under here. Here, like this. Like, like, like this. She's like... Eh, eh. What is that? What is that? Anyway, she'll jump out of bed. She's not doing it now, of course. Of course she's not doing it now. But she actually jumps and she's like, whoa, what's that underneath me? Less talky, more driving. So we're headed back home, Buffy. How many different ways can you say Buffy? Buffy, 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 in Kermit's voice. Yeah, it's a Muppet Show with their very special guest, or Buffy. Yay! Uh, it's the Ranger, Buffy. Hey, man, don't they tell you one no night thing, Buffy, man? Name Buffy. Oh, how about the surfer dude? Hey, like, totally like it's Buffy. Like, that's a cool name, dude. Like, hang ten, man. <laughs> She's looking at me as if to say, What are you on? Why is that light so bright? <laughs> what, what do they say there anyway when they do that song? I have no idea. Eating, meeting, mountain moving? What? I have no idea what they say there. Yes, I'm weird. You guys know this. This should come to as no surprise to you. You wanna go inside? Treat? Go outside? Go for a walk? Go for a drive? <laughs> it's like every time I said something, she's like, huh? 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 Um, it, what are you eating? There's no food over there. 
Stop eating your tongue. Your tongue is not food. You're what? <laughs> Alrighty then. My dog's eating herself. That's just. Oh gosh. Never mind. That's what you're. That's disgusting. Stop doing that in my seat. Dog. Buffy. Okay, I'm joking. She's not cleaning herself. She's just biting her leg. I wanted to make sure that I followed up with that. I followed up so that you guys didn't think that she was actually doing something really disgusting, even though she probably does. Just not right now. But that's okay. Oh, I can show you guys now. I dropped my phone today, and I cracked my freaking phone. I am totally PO'd. But it's weird. It's still, it's still okay. Which you wouldn't think it would be, and I'm, I'm sure that even in this bad light right here, you guys are going to... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I cracked the freaking glass on the camera on my phone. Hold on, wait, wait for it. Wait for something weird. Just hold on a second. Hold on a second. You too. I don't whine at you. Just chill. It's okay. We're not going anywhere yet. And I know that's the problem. Look at that. It still has a good picture. How is that possible? It is cracked. It looks like poo poo. What? I, okay, I'm not arguing with it. I'm not saying it's about... Oh, I am about ready to argue with you, though. So I've got good news about the cracked lens. It's not that big of a deal. I just got through ordering a new one from eBay for like $3.25. And uh, it's extremely easy to do this. I looked up a video on YouTube. Go figure. You guys have no idea what YouTube is, do you? Anyway, look up a video there, and we are all good to go. It will be very easy to um, replace it once it gets here. So... Yeah, not a huge deal. Thank goodness it wasn't the screen. It didn't land the other way. So, kind of like a cat. If you strap a piece of toast to its back, jelly side up, and, and you drop a cat off a building, <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be inhumane. I have no idea what has gotten into me today. I was, the latter part of the day today, I've just been like in a good mood. So that's good. Although I can't figure out where COC is. 52 comments. I can't believe all of you guys. That is so cool. Many of you are saying to take a look at the mummification process. Uh, so many good ideas. First comment of the night. Jim, I'm getting excited for your haunt. Love the ideas. If you need help, let me know. Jim, I need help. I'm letting you know. Riot Starter B, one of the naysayers about the uh, Egypt haunt. It's not scary to you at all. You know something though? It's still going to have scare actors pop out. It's still going to use the scare techniques. It's still going to have dim lighting and snakes and scary things. It's still going to have uh, sounds. Um, it's still going to be all-encompassing. And uh, both uh, the Energized and that Barb Girl, uh, Halloween is not just about scaring people. It's about creating a feeling of eeriness that people will never forget. You also need to remember that in the true traditions of Halloween, there are no blood and guts. That's horror, not Halloween. Well, you know, there might be blood and guts in this too. Because, you know, you have to have other people that have forged ahead of you that may not have made it through the haunt. There's so many aspects to this that are just so cool and so intriguing. While Jimmy repurposed the monster in a box and make it into a tomb um, and put the prop, make the prop card into the boulder. <laughs> yeah, monster in the box will probably be brought out and it'll probably just have an actor in it. I don't know, because there's going to be a lot of work for everything else. Anthony Williams. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. I emailed you on uh, YouTube, so uh, try to find it. Brian Easterling. With a little repainting and removal of the picture frames for your drop panel hallway pieces, you can make some great scares. I can just imagine mummies, snake people, zombies, all manner of forgotten souls being lost from the stone walls. Yes. And there's so many, so many different things you can do. Uh, clockworks. Um... Not sure if it's cool to post links in your comments. I apologize in advance. Uh, no, usually when you post links, it puts it into spam. And if it's cool and everything, then I bring it out of, of the spam folder. So no, that's awesome. The BDL Express. I have a question for you. Are you able to help at all? Because I know that you're like pretty close, I think. Tony Fredrickson. Uh, so many good ideas. What do you think about a contest? Instead of you sending us stuff, we submit our mummy photos to you and the winner has the privilege of having our work in your haunt. Well, I would always go for that. That would be cool, but I, um, I think it would keep us tuned in and creating all winter and get you free props to fill up your theme, giving you more time to build walls. Just a thought. 
Uh, hopefully your day has gone well. Um, yeah, the day went fine. Uh, uh, but no, the the if you if anybody wants to mummify a, a, a corpse, not a real one of course, and send it to me, I'd always be up for that. I'm not sure about a contest though. Alex Brune, I took all the pictures that you showed me and I put them in my folder of my other uh, pictures. So thank you for those. Cosplayers of Florida, <laughs> if I talk to Kay Kellen again, then I will ask her about the jacket. Oh, and I'll be looking forward to your pictures in Mexico too. Alex Paslowski, uh, awesome haunt ideas. When will you actually start building the haunt? Probably sooner than later. I'm thinking about the first of the year. In all actuality. Triff27, good idea in having the mannequin um, in the matching outfits be movable with the other person. So if people go through twice and they think they know where he's standing, they'll be on the other side possibly. That's a good idea. I think Little Giles uh, summed this up pretty much what I'm thinking uh, totally. He says, I love the Egyptian slash tomb theme. It will be something different that not many are doing. And when you think about it, you can really hit a lot of the common phobias with it. Fear of snakes, bugs, bats, birds, spiders, tight places, dark, death, and blood. No clowns, no chainsaws. You can still have some some gore if you have someone performing mummification on someone. They pulled the brain out through the nose. Ew, that is gross. Imagine walking into a dark hall and hearing bugs, lots of bugs, and then you feel them running around your feet and in your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So many good suggestions. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold on to this vlog, like I'm going to write it down, and then um, I will refer back to it. Um, after I fix my phone. No, just kidding. When I go through and I start like really hammering away at this stuff. So, uh, GK Eagles 10. I think the idea is awesome. I will keep my eye out for Egyptian items. I went to the King Tut exhibit, so I know what I'm looking for. Awesome. Thank you guys. Um, Wolf's Bane Hollow. Um, it, and I'm saying that because your comments like right there. And yes, I should watch The Mummy, the 1999 version, and Indiana Jones. I'd like to see that again too. And Scarabs. I need scarabs. All right, guys. Happy haunting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dealing with my antics and stuff like that. Do me a favor and go down below over there to show more. And you can see all the links and everything of how to follow us on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. Actually, I have to update the Facebook link. Yeah. Anyway, this video is long enough. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. Say bye. I don't think this is the Hellmouth anymore, Toto.